Hi everyone, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot. Well, I love to see that you prefer me. We're about to get into a reading for the sign of Cancer. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you guys would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. What messages do you have for the sign of Cancer, please? And thank you for now until this is going to be into the 25th of December, okay? We have the Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the World Card. You know what I feel? It's like you're letting go of your emotions for someone. Or understanding your emotions or why you felt um, a way about someone. You finally express yourself. And it's like a relief, maybe. The Empress card is at the bottom of the deck. So, Divine Feminine Energy. This is someone who is well taken care of. Libra. Taurus energy, the high priestess underneath there. This is following your intuition about like knowing your worth, going towards brand new beginnings or whatever. Okay, more messages for the sign of cancer. The five of cups and we have the six of cups. Hmm. Maybe someone thought that, that thought that they was over uh, whatever happened in the past, but you understand or you're you're realizing that you're not, and it's time to or, okay, it could be that. Yeah, it's time to work on yourself. It's like self-healing needs to take, take place or whatever. More messages for the sign of cancer. The lover's card. Okay, I feel like someone is holding on to a connection from the past. Feeling like they messed up. Someone may be realizing that how they feel felt about someone or how they truly feel about someone someone really doesn't want to give up not quite ready to let go more messages for the sign of cancer the seven of cups and the six of swords yeah all of these emotions and then it's like look it's time to move on seven of swords at the bottom of the deck here's the seven of cups and there's the six of swords underneath the five of cups or it's just time to um Look at the situation differently. There's a reason why you went through what you went through. And maybe because you, you were holding on to something from the past. That, that needed some healing or whatever. What's the Queen of Cups? Yeah, walking away from um, self-deception. The Hermit card on top of the Queen of Cups. Virgo energy. Going with the in prayer and meditation. Yeah, about how you feel. About what makes you happy. About bringing in some type of balance. Mending a situation. Mending situations. What's the Knight of Cups? The Two of Pentacles. And we also have the Five of Swords. So, someone's going back and forth on if they should um, fight for something. Fight for a home. Fight for a relationship. Okay, you were going back and forth on if you should express how you feel towards someone or about something. You probably didn't do so. You just, like, let it, like, you just closed out the situation. And now someone's feeling sorry, feeling like they messed up. What's the world card? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, um, it's like you were working on something and then you just stopped. Yeah, maybe because it, there was some, some type of immature energy. What's the five of cups? Five of cups here for the sign of cancer. The page of cups. The, I felt the, um, the apology coming. <sighs> or maybe someone never apologized. We have the page of wands at the bottom of the deck. With the five of wands, so there was there were battles. Um, it was drama, pettiness, arguments, competition, stuff like that. And then someone would bring in more energy, and it could have been more petty energy. Trying to, yeah, trying to get a one up and being the one, trying to be the um, victor in the situation. It ended up being. The one who uh, lost doesn't feel good. Something like that. What's the Six of Cups? The 
the king of cups okay yeah this is something to do with emotions it could be a relationship rejecting or there was a need to appreciate what you already had or yeah and realizing when opportunities arose right what's the lover's card the seven of wands yeah. Someone could have defended a connection where it was a lot of illusions, um, mixed emotions and stuff like that. Or someone blocked themselves out from a true connection. Maybe out of selfish decisions. What's the Seven of Cups? What's the Seven of Cups, please and thank you. Clarify the Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, there could have been some um codependency someone thought they were they were uh, good alone or they were self-sufficient they weren't or this could be someone who just had a lot of options and ready to get away from that confusion and away from people that they used to deal with from the past understanding that that's bringing in a lot of hurt and pain what's the six of swords the six of pentacles the moon card, yeah, because what's done in the dark will come to the light. And, like, you get what you receive. You get what you get. You get what you give. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Cancer, you get what you give. So, you don't want to... I don't think a person wants to deal with bad karma. So, a person is, like, ready to deal with themselves, work on themselves. Do some shadow work here. What's the Virgo... Virgo card. What's the Hermit card here for the sign of Cancer? Clarify the um, Hermit card. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands. Excuse me. The Ten of Swords and we also have the Two of Cups. It's hard for someone to let go of something that was painful, a betrayal, closing out a painful cycle, and I feel like it has something to do with a, with a relationship, a connection, you see eye to eye, a friendship, anything. And the sun card, excuse me, with the sun card here, this is someone looking for peace now, or there's an opportunity ahead to have peace, to have clarity, to have um, a, f a foundation, a new opportunity, something that's, okay, that was possible, but then there was a sudden shift. Someone was willing to build this energy and then something stopped. Okay, there was maybe because there was something that you wasn't aware aware of that you just had to let go of the situation. I don't know. Let me get one more card here. <laughs> one more card for the sign of cancer. What's this? The page of wands. Yeah. Someone may be coming back with an offer. But be aware of that because it may be like some heartbreaking pain there. But you can accept it, accept the apology, like let bygones be bygones type of energy. You forgive this person, forgive yourself for whatever had happened. And just learn your lesson from this. I don't know what it was. Let's get a message from the goddess. Um, power day. What message do you have for the sign of cancer? Hold on. Message for the sign of cancer. Oh my goodness. Why are these cards... Not trying to shuffle. What message do you have for the sign of cancer? What message do you have for the sign of cancer? All right. Um, let me just get right into it. <laughs> On top of this spread, what do you have for the sign of cancer? sun create a spark at the bottom of the deck all right let's read what this is about this is I'm, it's about being bold and stuff shining a light number 51 you guys could be like um on the cusp cusp of leo right when you shine your light into the world you attract various people and experiences that match your challenge 
match or challenge your commitment to being empowered right now you are receiving information to know which choice to make which opportunity to take and which person to trust the aboriginal australian sun goddess Yi illuminates your path with her rays and brings clarity as she shows you what you need to know a bright light also attracts a lot of bugs so know that you may you may also attract attract those who see themselves smaller as a result of your empowerment this is conditioning that needs to be healed in many people in the world all you can do is be in in consistent and joyful kind and truthful and the world will begin to reflect um i don't want to a whole nother card <laughs> and the world will begin to reflect that goodness back to you. The goddess Yi is happy to help you shine, okay? So allow that creative spark to come through because you're about to be shining brightly, boo. That was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all the bad good stuff. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.